Errol Barnett got a look at how it works. He joins us from Atlanta's main airport. Errol, good morning. Hey there, Nate. Good morning. Look, this is one of the world's busiest airports. 43 million people moved through here in 2020. And come the Thanksgiving period, the airline expects two and a half million travelers. And many of them will look like me, right? They'll have their headphones in. They'll be juggling devices, walking around with their carry-on. And maybe they will have their luggage as well. It's a lot. So Delta is upgrading things so that all you need to be on your way is your beautiful face. We are in Delta's new TSA PreCheck Express bag drop facility. Rajan Goswami says his airline's newest attraction, years in the making, will speed up travel. While major U.S. carriers like United and American are piloting biometric ID checks at limited airport locations, Delta wants to be first to offer full curb-to-gate security, centered around facial recognition. Members of Delta's loyalty program, SkyMiles, who upload passport details and have TSA pre-check, can soon do this. As soon as you take your mask off, it takes the photograph. It's now using that image that it just had with your passport number. It's pinging the customs database, making sure there's an image match there. And now here we go. Our bag tag will print. If successful, this reduces the need for agents while streamlining check-in. Delta is partnering with the TSA, so security lines like these should be a breeze. It really reduces that element of human error. How quickly would someone be able to be verified and, and move through security? About six to ten seconds. And the final leg where you can use your biometrics is at the gate. No ID or boarding pass necessary. Welcome aboard, Errol. All right, thanks. Delta's Byron Merritt. The biggest hurdles are just, um, you know, speed. You know, we're trying to move as fast as we can. And the second thing is that customers are coming back really fast. Delta is testing this, and I think they will be eager to see how people react. Travel analyst Henry Hardevelt says flyers are overwhelmingly willing to literally face the future. Our research among U.S. airline passengers show four and five would share personal or biometric data with an airline they regularly fly to save time. Now, this will be a gradual rollout. Things will move slowly. All the Delta gates here at Concourse T in Atlanta and Concourse A in Detroit will have this technology. And look, for those of you fearful about sharing your travel face, Delta says it de immediately destroys each image. And for those who don't want to participate in facial recognition, you just don't opt into the option in the first place. Nate. Hopefully it makes flying easier. One thing I do know, Errol, you travel in style. You look good, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs>